Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Amber from Mystic Eyes The Journey and I am back with another channeled message. And today I am going to be doing a reading for the Aries Collective. So this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anybody that wants to check in with Aries energy. This is a timeless reading. However, if um, you're popping in as this releases and you are an Aries Sun, happy birthday. Um, but this is pretty much a message for anybody um, because we are about to enter into Aries season or I think we actually have already. Okay. So as usual, I have my tarot. I have lots of Oracle here going on and we're just going to tap into the energies and see what the collective needs to know. So if these messages resonate with you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Those are all ways that you can support me on my journey as I support you on your path to yours. Okay, so we'll get right on into it. Starting with tarot. Spirit, what is it that the Aries Collective needs to know at this time? What does the Aries Collective need to know? to successfully navigate through the energies. We are, again, this is timeless, but if you're watching it as this happens, we're coming up on eclipse season. So lots of really intense energies, uh, lots of kind of stormy, unsettled energies, big things being eclipsed out, new beginnings coming in. Let's see. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Getting Beauty and the Beast vibes here. I'm not sure what that's about, but we'll see. Okay, we got the Devil card. Hey, Ace of Swords. Okay, clarity on the situation. Everything's upright. Very cool. Back of the deck, we have the Hanged Man. Okay, so coming out of Pisces season with the Hanged Man, but the Hanged Man is uh, between the energy of death. So we're about to come into a major shift or a major change and this is quite an uncomfortable shift or change right the hanged man usually depicts this idea of like not being terribly comfortable but with this fire here this aries energy kind of emerging up it's like it's especially uncomfortable at this time yeah, did anybody else notice that? That shift between like Aquarius season where we're like breaking chains left and right with that Pluto going into Aquarius energy. And then all of a sudden it was like Pisces where it's like, okay, now let's just rest and become centered and just go with the flow. And it was like, but you know, I got chains to break. I, I need to move. I need to do something. We're coming into that energy where... Aries is starting to pick up. We're getting that fire back, but it's a little bit uncomfortable because we're still in that suspended state. There's still things that we need to know and to learn and to, um, yeah, downloads to receive. Because look at his ankle. We have those butterflies. That's that transformation process. It's like this process is the chrysalis where we just kind of have to hang out until we can emerge as the butterfly. But there's this fire underneath us, that Aries energy that's like, okay, I need to get out of this chrysalis. It's very uncomfortable. I feel it, so I know everybody feels it because we're all one, right? All right, so we have the moon, but it's situated between the moon and the sun, right? That's what I was talking about, that like, Oh, let's just, you know, go with the flow. But it's like, where's the sun? Come on, we need some direction. We need to start moving and take some action, right? This clarifies that it's about to happen. We're in that in-between state of the moon and the sun. The sun's about to emerge. Now we have the seven of cups here, which is really interesting. It's depicted within this kind of dark energy. Again, very much Pisces energy here can't quite see where we're going now she broke a cup here right that energy between seven of cups and eight of cups leaving something behind something is broken something is no longer useful to us but look at this we have this illuminated rose that illuminates our path forward i feel like this is what we're getting here we're, oh. <laughs> with the hanged man right? This illumination that we're waiting for. But it comes in the form of something not going correctly. Maybe a plan that we had that didn't work out the way we wanted it to work out. 
And as that, you know, vision of what it is that we wanted breaks apart, we actually get illuminated to where we actually need to go. Something about balance here as well. We have the three of swords. Yeah, that's that broken heart or a difficult conversation or a difficult reality, right? And again, this, this moon energy is something, you know, this eclipse energy is, is going to be really big, really, really, really big. There's going to be some sort of clarity on where you're being held back. The energy of death. Did, did we get death? No. Okay. Wait. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That says the devil. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read on this camera and I can't really do it. Yeah, this is the energy between death and the tower. I'm sorry, the devil in the tower. Why do I keep saying that? Why do I keep saying that? I mean, probably to do with this hanged man, this transformation. Some sort of transformation wants to take place. Some sort of really significant transformation wants to take place. But there's this realization of where we're kind of just a cog in a system. And we're not fully awakened to something or to a reality yet. But we're about to be. Right? This is the energy between the devil and the tower, where the devil's tower is about to come down. Okay, We can see that lightning coming down. It hasn't decimated yet. It hasn't been destroyed yet, but we know that it's there. That's that same energy here. Right, As whatever this is breaks apart, we get illuminated to the truth. Maybe a difficult truth, but a truth nonetheless, because we have the Ace of Swords. It gives us the clarity to make a decision, that energy between Ace of Swords and Two of Swords. Clarity to make a decision, to cut something out that's holding us back. Right? I feel like Saturn is about to release the collective and the sun's about to come out. The sun, excuse me, the sun is about to come out. And we're dealing with these kind of darker energies as we play with the residuals of the moon. Okay, this eclipse season is about to eclipse the confusion, the heartbreak, the devil, and bring clarity into the situation so you can make a decision and move forward no longer being suspended within that hanged man energy and we can finally step into Aries and take action, illuminated action. I picked up, what did I pick up? Yeah, I picked up this, right? The Empress. Something creative is about to come into fruition. Something creative is about to come into fruition. I'm gonna clarify with this deck. What else? What else does Aries Collective need to know at this time? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, and it landed right on this Seven of Cups, right? This confusion. When we allow and accept that whatever this container was, right? I'm getting this container. Something being contained, right? The fruit of the tree being contained and controlled, right? With that uh, Empress energy that we picked up on before, it's like the Empress was being controlled and contained. Then that illusion is shattering. And then we can really move forward to create what it is that needs to be created. And that's going to turn into an opportunity. Once we shatter this illusion, once we accept this difficult truth and release an opportunity is coming in almost immediately. Yeah, because once that glass shatters or that ceramic shatters, we immediately see the rose. What else? Oh, yeah. Check it out. The sun. Yeah. Sun is coming out. Illumination about to move forward and move into like joy and satisfaction, happiness. Nine of Wands. Okay. We can see something trying to 
come past a boundary, right? And we know in the typical Rider Waite, uh, the Nine of Pentacles, he's wounded. This is the before tarot. This is the moment right before we see that traditional image on the tarot card. So some sort of a darker entity, darker energy person, right? Something or someone without good intentions, that devil energy is trying to make its way past a boundary that you've established for yourself. Some sort of protective barrier. It's coming through, but we know in the traditional Rider weight card, that thing is gone. Yes, he's wounded. He has a bandage on his head, but look at his stance. He's not playing around. This is what I love about Aries energy. I love Aries energy for that exact reason. Because y'all don't play around. I'm a Mars and Aries. So um, all of my placements are very, very fixed. Very earth. Very water. So uh, very calm, cool, collected. But like, Zam, if you catch me in that energy. <laughs> my Aries comes out and I love it. I love that energy. Not being afraid. Like, get the hell out of my energy. And yes, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> I might get a bandage on my head, but that's that. What is this? The Ten of Swords. Interesting. Okay, Ten of Swords is a painful ending, right? It's a painful truth coming to light. You know, realizing, let's see if I can get in and focused. Right, the before tarot, we see these sneaky sneakers waiting for their opportunity to catch this person off guard. Right, maybe truth to reality that maybe people that you thought were on your side are not on your side, or that you really do need to be protecting yourself and protecting your boundaries, protecting the sun, protecting this opportunity. Right, and that's that hanged man, suspended state. Right? That's what you need to know before spirit will allow you to release and to fly. You need to know that, yeah, you need to protect yourself. The Wheel of Fortune. Something's about to turn into your favor. And I feel like spirit is causing delays because you need to really accept the truth of reality. That your protection needs to be up. Because if you get this opportunity, if you get this fortune, if you get this sun... There's kind of this energy of being maybe overly generous or just not protecting the boundaries. What else? What else does the collective need to know? Oh dear, that's too much. I just, I don't know why. I just heard like uh, Winnie the Pooh. So that might be um, a confirmation for somebody what's Winnie the Pooh's deal? I don't really know much. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't really know. I don't get the clarification. That might be um, just a confirmation for somebody. Yep, we got the moon. Come on now. Changes in your life. Something is about to shift and change. Don't worry. We're not going to be in that suspended state forever. Misunderstanding. Yeah misunderstanding i'm getting that um yeah unsettled times needing to plan ahead i'm getting an energy of family here that may resonate it may not place it as it resonates but we need to grasp a greater understanding in order to plan ahead what are you going to do with your abundance once you get it do you have a plan do you have a plan maybe that's why you're in a suspended state do you have a plan the well. Family wishes come true. Yeah, I was picking up on family. All right, so um, this is kind of all happening around this Ten of Swords energy. So they, you may have people around you that you should be able to trust, but maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. And, you know, this won't be some sort of surprise where it's like, oh, where is this coming from? No, you'll know what this energy is. It may just be this Three of Swords energy where it's a difficult truth to accept. Something that you already know, but it's difficult to accept. Maybe living in that um, Neptunian uh, rose-colored glasses, like, oh, I can change them. And, you know, maybe if I get this wonderful opportunity, I can, you know, give them this, this, and this, and then they'll be, 
No, that's not usually how it works. Uh, usually when you start to elevate higher, uh, it just kind of makes those energies get a little more um, feisty, let's say. What else? Good advice. The Ram. Hi, Aries energy. A stubborn and aggressive person. Okay, I feel like that's that Ten of Swords energy somebody that you're dealing with but this could also be your energy collective right just wanting to move forward even if the lesson hasn't been learned but remember if you don't learn the lesson you are doomed to repeat it so you might as well take advantage of the moment wait for this eclipse energy and eclipse whatever bs is going on out of your life so that you can move forward in safety right because you don't want to bring a amazing manifestation in and then lose it right you're on the road to success right not there yet but you're on the road right just a little bit to go like imagine yourself being at this spot in the journey right it's still it's still quite a ways up but you can see the end it's there spiritual love yeah, I feel like your spiritual team is around you heavy right now. I just got an image. Um, I remember, I don't even remember the name of the mountain, but I climbed a mountain in Indonesia once and it was extremely steep. I mean, it was not a 90 degree incline, obviously, but it was extremely steep and it was a very long hike. Um, and we got about to the halfway point and it just got significantly steeper from there. And I remember like hiking up it and just like saying to myself, like, I'm going to die here. I'm like, there's no way I can do this. As I'm as I'm taking one step at a time, one step at a time, there is this voice in my mind that's saying, like, we're going to die. Um, you're going to just collapse here. And like, this is it. There's no way that you're doing this. And as this voice is literally my feet are down on the ground taking one step after another, after another, after another, and having this negative uh, thing playing out in my head, I my footsteps stop and I look up and I'm at the top, uh, literally above the clouds. I feel like that's the energy here. One step at a time, focus on the steps and just keep going. It feels like you're not going anywhere, but you are. You are. It's just one step, one step, one step. And yes, in those moments, you're going to have all of this negative stuff trying to pull you back, trying to guide you off the path. Get off the path. Come on. What are you doing? You can't do this. Yes, you can. And that's that beautiful energy of Aries where it's like, don't do not tell an Aries they can't do it. Just don't. Deceit, yeah. <laughs> There's something around you, whether that be inside of you, right? That, you know, mental playing out, whatever it is, that devil energy that's trying to keep you chained and pull you off track. It's a lie. It's deceit, right? And we all have that within ourselves and outside of ourselves, right? It's the balance. It's the yin and the yang. We need that part of ourselves so that we can overcome if I didn't have that voice in my mind telling me that I can't do it, that you're going to fail, there's no way around it, you're literally going to die on this mountain, it would not have the same profound effect that I've all these years later still hold on to and hold into my heart to the point that it's gotten me, that moment has gotten me through so many things in my life. It wouldn't have the same impact if I didn't have this, that devil energy, that deceit that was trying to pull me back, okay? Hostilities, yeah, 26. It brings us to eight, right? And that eight is the infinity. We're always gonna have this energy around us, right? And it serves a purpose. It's a beautiful teacher. It teaches us to find, dig deep and find our own sovereignty and our own power. And that's what Aries energy is all about the trailblazer, the person that everybody says you can't do it. It's not possible. And saying, 
watch me. Oh my God, I love it. I don't want to get out of this energy, but I got to close down this reading. I love it. Shout out to Aries. You guys are like wonderful, wonderful, wonderful energy. All right, let's keep going. I feel like there's two in here for us. I think we're going to close it down after that. Maybe not. Let's see. What else does Aries need to know? There we go. One. What do you feel? <laughs> what do you feel? I'll show you the imagery in just a second. Black and white thinking. Yeah. Okay. Back of the deck. Trust yourself. Yeah. Trust yourself. Trust that you can do it. And you have the support, I'm feeling, of like the animal kingdom, of the nature spirits behind you. 31 is to 4. This is a stabilizing energy for you. And look at all the color. Now, I want to just create a comparison here. It's black and white. What do you feel? What do you feel in your heart? Right? She's comparing apples and oranges in her hands. And it's like this energy of that doesn't matter. Look at something bigger. I'm seeing like the flower of life here. What does this mean for the world? How can the decision that you make here change the world? Aries, you're the trailblazer. What you do inspires other people to even think that it's possible. Right? In this black and white world that only sees apples and oranges, there's a whole world out there. There's a whole world to be experienced. Right? It's almost like the devil gives us, well, you can have this or you can have that. And it's like, no, I don't want that. I want, I want freedom. I want to be able to do whatever I want within this world. The possibilities are endless. When I look at the flower of life, now I don't really know the sacred geometry here, but what I'm feeling is like parallel universes, infinite possibilities. Right, we start here, then we can branch to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. There's no limitations. It's an illusion of the mind. That's the devil's energy. It's the illusion because you can either have an apple or an orange. I'm getting from here. I, I just heard as I shifted to this energy. You can be you can be an angel or a devil. And it's like, no, I can be whatever I want to be. I can do whatever I want to do. And if you want proof, look at this. Infinite possibilities. Focus on the light. Yeah, just keep going one step at a time. One step at a time. Even when it feels like you're not moving, you're moving. That feeling of being stuck is an illusion. It's an illusion. One more. I really don't want to get out of this energy. Beautiful body. Honor your new curves. Interesting. Beautiful body. Okay, so this may be a message, right? She's, she's pregnant here. Right? There's a change coming up. Right? So honor these, these changes. Know that whatever changes you're about to experience in your life, in your physical life, is a result of something beautiful that's about to be birthed. Freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Let your hair down and play. Have fun. Freedom. It's what I was picking up here with this idea of you can have this, you can have that. Those are your choices. <laughs> I remember right before I started this channel, something very similar happened to me where somebody, you know, I won't get too deep into it, but I was given like, you can do, you can either do this or you can do that. So what do you want to do? Neither. And that was such a profound moment in my life. 
<laughs> there's a song. If you want like a bop, if you want to be bopping around all day, there's a song called uh, Evan Finds the Third Room um, by, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the band's name. If you look it up, Evan Finds the New Room, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see the name of the band. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it, the whole song is about like this idea of like finding a third room, right? You get this or you get that. No. You find the third room. There's always another option. There's always another possibility. And if you don't see it, you trailblaze it so that somebody else feels empowered to do the same thing. All right, that's what I have for you, Aries. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to step into this energy. It is an honor. It's a privilege. Uh, and I love it. I love it. Um, so if this resonated with you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. Um, and until we meet again, namaste.